M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Big thanks to Marcus Dudley for the new firmware version 2.5. And this does have the, the PC control software as well. I'll put the link for the download in the description, but just using radio only at the moment. So you, you turn it on and I've been looking at some of the shortcut buttons. Uh, the one that you're gonna like straight away is the five. So if we hold down number five, and you'll see we've got these sort of waterfall band scope image there okay very nice and then you just hit the 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 vm is the back button as well it's also the vfo memory button you can see that nice signal meter on receive and transmit there also if you hold down number eight you get the radio uh, exit like so Zero, let's hold, it says this, scan presets, so I'm guessing you can put presets in. It, see, it just seems to have a group mode. Uh, number seven, hold down seven, and it will scan and pick up what's transmitting in this room. Hopefully it will pick up my node, which it did do, and you can store it. And it's got the CTCSS slightly out, but they always are. I don't really know why. All the budget radios are always slightly out. Let's hold that again and see if it gets audio. And what else we've we written down? The Bluetooth is as normal. Hold down the blue button. VFO memory, sort of channel mode, and then frequency mode is here. And um, if you, it's not picking up, no one's talking at the moment. So let's just do that. See how do we get out of that? Hold down seven again. Hmm. You think that would just come out, wouldn't you? So that's okay. Maybe it's waiting to pick something up. I'll turn it off and on. Look at the, the intro. Very nice. Now, menu wise, just go blue button, menu, and then you can scroll down and you've got is it 46 menus. We'll go backwards, shall we? Ultra scan, TX deviation, clone. AF filters, RX expander. It definitely receives upper sideband as well. PTT mode. Ah, single or dual. Let's do dual. So there, yeah, there is two PTTs. What was that one there? EEPROM wipe. Oh, we can do that on the radio now. That's handy because I think once you've wiped the EEPROM, then you can load the original squelch tail rf gain let's just see what i get you can see that uh let's go down tx timeout is off vox tail vox level tx mod meter oh let's put that on i don't actually know what that is and we'll go, go into that still channel mode. If you press the VFO once, no, twice. Let's do it again. No, let's do it. If you press it, eventually you go into where you can type the frequency. I'd say I had to press it a few times, but we can now type. And I, th I find you need to put in zeros. If you go back and go zero, one, four. Five, five hundred. Keep going till it changes color. There you are. One, four, five hundred. Go back to TX mod. Not sure what that is. And oh, why is it not kept that frequency? Uh, let's hold down the B, A, B. Yeah, it's letting me do it now. TX mod. Oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ooh. You can see what it's doing. M0 FXB, test, 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 test. One, two, three, four, it's going up and down, look. Pretty handy. Uh, menu, of course, read the manual. That's what Marcos will say. Why haven't you read the manual? <laughs> I like doing it this way. Spectrum scope, we already had that, didn't we? Start. Yeah, and that's what we had on the button number five. Uh, menu, battery style icon, 
So we've got icon or off voltage percent. Okay, let's do percent. So now it's the percentage of the battery charge that's left. Menu. Now remember, this is like experimental, so you know, don't um, expect it to be you know the same as when you buy the radio. Tone monitor off. LCD timeout. Channel zero zero functions. I don't know what that is. Group slot. Group. Lots of groups here. Fil filter split. RX filter split. Scan hold seconds. So once it finds something, how long will it stay there? Scan steps. Scan tail. Key tones. You can turn off the beeps. Subtone. RX and CT, CSS, DCS. Brightness. Power, which is in milliwatts goes up to five mic gain modulation is in auto at the moment but look usb am fm auto and usb so it's usb leave it in auto for now and that's about it steps and bandwidth so back out so i'm going to show you how to load it and then uh, i'll see if i can connect it to the software okay so we've got the radio connected to the cable just here to the pc Radio is on at the moment. Go to this site here, which is TRD Radio Downloads. You do have to log in, and then it allows you to find the radio. And I've just gone to the one that's called Unlock. Click Download, uh, like so. And then you'll have this zip file. As you can see it, well, it's downloading at the moment. And inside the file is the one you need for firmware loading, which is this one here, H3. TD H3 IAP, just double click that, okay? The original firmware file is here if you want it, but we're not using that. So once you double click that, you get this little yellow radio at the bottom of your screen. Click that, and here's the, the firmware loading program. Just click open, and then select the bin file that you've got from Marcus. Hopefully, I've got it here in my downloads. Let's have a look. Uh, I think I might put it into a folder, desktop, put it into H3, there it is, no, H33, let me just find the one I named, so you want the, the one that's called 2.5, once you've found where you've put it, mine's here, so you double click, Nick Firmware H3, double click, and it goes in, and then turn the radio off, like so, click start, on the program, start, and then put your finger on the PTT and turn on, and you can let go of the PTT now, and it goes in, and then the radio gets to where it was when we started the video. Let's have a look at the uh, the software. You can see it booting up there. So in the bundle, you get this Nick firmware program. I double click that. More info, then run. Let's have a look. Now we have used this before. There it is there. It's been a while since I used it. Maybe a month or so. And yeah, I do forget everything. <laughs> so um, get the connect cable connected, right click, device manager. And of course you have to select the right cable when you're doing firmware as well. I should have said that. Make sure you connect the right cable. Um, and look, it's COM16. So we're going to just go COM16. And let's see the way it says Bluetooth there. Hmm. Um, so let's just go read, see what it does. Yeah, it's doing something. There was a bit of a delay. I mean, I haven't written any channels. So... Let's just click some of these. Band plan, power calibration. Ooh. I don't know how to use it, but wow. Remote. Ah, there's our screen. Okay, so when you hit remote, you get to screen. Four, three, wait, let me. I only got to put the, the, the zero in, haven't I? So we go, sorry about this, zero. 
You can see the signal meter there. If I put it into channel mode, have I? Okay. So as I click the X, it changed. And now we can think, yeah, well, it's typing at the bottom. I am tinkering now. Oh, F made the light come on. B, is that going? To, I'm not sure what that's doing. PTT, let's see if that even works. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. Let's check the PTT. Um, let's get a better frequency. A quick look. Restrictions. Okay. Disable scopes. Disable frequency counter. Disable FM tuner. All your settings. Scan preset. So it's for scanning. FM tuner. DTMF. You can put in shortcuts. Really, I think that's enough, really. You can just play now, can't you? Um, I'm hitting M. Oh, of course, menu. <laughs> and the X, I, I would say, is the same as the VFO memory button. Just trying to put it again. No, hit it again. No. I'm just trying to type frequencies, but it's it's got me. I think that's enough for now. You know, you've seen the software, you've seen the, you know, the actual, move that over so you can see it a bit clearer. Loading, how to do it. It is experimental. Big thanks to Marcus. Check out the Facebook page, TRD Radio Hacking. Bye for now. Please hit the like, subscribe, 73, all the